New York, calling the RDX that Acura appeared at the current year's Detroit Auto Show an idea was extending the term to the furthest reaches of credulity. The creation form of the 2019 RDX is here, and this turbocharged hybrid with accessible AWD looks darn close and distinguishable. While it offers all-wheel drive like its Lexus NX and Audi Q3 contenders, Acura's cutting-edge SHAWD ought to be a genuine offering point. How about we cover that super-handling all-wheel drive framework for a minute? It takes control from the 2.0-liter, 272 pull and 280 pound-feet of torque motor and courses it up to 70% rearward, and there's genuine torque vectoring, as opposed to brake-based fake vectoring to move 100% of that back pivot energy to either wheel. The general terms are like the active model's framework, yet there's significantly more accessible back power inclination. In the 2016 model, up to 40% could be sent to the back. What's more, that was up from 25% for pre-2016 models. The takeaway is that the RDX should deal with a ton better on both dry and elusive asphalt, and feel somewhat sportier doing it. Another motor may help too. The active 3.5-liter V6 is supplanted by a turbocharged four-chamber, probably identified with the unit in the Accord and Civic Type R, and tuned someplace in the middle of those autos, 252 and 306 drive, separately. We anticipate that the new motor will be lighter than the old V6, and less weight off the front end ought to enhance directing feel and dealing with. For those following along, the new motor is down 7 strength however up 28 pound-feet in torque, and on account of turbocharging the torque band begins down low and is generally level, so more oomph from a stop and on through the rev extend. The 6-speed programmed is gone, supplanted by a 10-speed programmed. The greater part of its rivals utilize 6 or 8-speed units, so that'll be an advertising center. As you'd expect. The individual proportions are nearer divided yet the aggregate proportion spread is, as indicated by Acura, 62% more extensive than the friendly programmed. There are directing wheel mounted doors on the off chance that you'd get a kick out of the chance to move yourself. Since the styling is especially a softly corrected prototype hard DX from the Detroit Appear, it's pleasant to have the capacity to give a feeling of the new auto's extents with hard numbers. Above all else, it's riding on a 2.6-inch longer wheelbase. General length is 187 inches, up from 184.4, and width is unspecified. Traveler volume becomes marginally to 104 cubic feet, up a half-solid shape, and payload volume increments from 26.1 cubic feet to 29.5. About what you'd anticipate from the length increments different subtle elements, there's a bigger all-encompassing moonroof, reflecting client inclinations for extensive glass boards up top. Also, there's an A-spec form, the primary Acura hybrid done up that way, in spite of the fact that it's for the most part an appearance bundle. The features are dark 20-inch composite wheels, gleam dark grille emphasizes, bigger fumes dips, and some badging. Inside, it's ultra sued with differentiating sewing and aluminum highlights. That all sounds pleasant, yet it's the re-examined infotainment framework that will be the most welcome change. The accurate true touchpad interface is an ungainly name for the touchpad that controls another 10.2-inch focus show running on an Android backend. There's no cursor, it's a one-to-one -one relationship between the position you address the cushion and the contribution on the screen. It's sunken, with a wrist rest, as well. The genuine trial of its ability will utilize it out and about yet we'll endeavor to get up near the framework on the show floor and report how it functions. The RDX will hit merchants amidst 2018, and evaluating presently can't seem to be declared.